leaving the kids and we are gonna be gone for seven days, people. So I am putting together a Miss Me kit. This is gonna be crazy, but here we go. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. We are a huge family with 16 kids, nine adopted, seven biological. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe if you wanna see more videos about what life is like with a crazy huge family. Today, we are going to be going on a trip, and when I say we, I mean only me and Benji and Cass and Josh, but we are leaving the kids and we are gonna be gone for seven days, people. That is a long time in kid years, right? Because like for a two and a half year old, that's a very long time. So I am putting together a really fun thing that I call Miss Me Kits, where each of them have like a kit that they can open every day. I think I'm gonna go a little bit more overboard this time just to have fun with it so that you viewers can see how much fun we have with them. But we've done them through the years and it just helps them go day by day and it kind of counts down for when mom and dad are gonna get home. So. I'm gonna get that done, get packed. I'm gonna write all my lists out for my helpers that are gonna come and babysit, and this is gonna be crazy, but here we go. First step is I'm gonna head to the store to grab some of the fun things. Okay, I went a little bit overboard, but this is gonna be fun. Let's go. miss me kit thing you've got going on. So every day the kids look forward to opening up like that number uh, bag and they look inside and there's always like a fun treat or a fun activity or something to do and it actually helps the caregiver to be able to like motivate them because they can't open it until like they've had breakfast, they're ready for the day, they've done their jobs and so it's a big motivation for everybody and it just makes everybody look forward to something every day and it counts down so that they can visually see like oh mom only has three days left if they're starting to feel sad or miss me. So we're gonna do that but also speaking of caregiver I like to put together kind of like a booklet or just like a little notepad of everything like there is a lot right with this many kids with 10 kids at home who they're gonna be actively <laughs> caring for it, they have to have schedules and they have to have like what they're gonna have for dinner and they have to have medications, they have to have passwords or how to open the pool, they have to have the rules like what time the kids have to be home or who they can go play with or who they need to have rides with and um, also we have cheerleading while I'm gone and a couple other activities, they need to, anyway, all the stuff, right? So what I do is I put all of that in a booklet, this is just an expensive one, it was a couple dollars at the store and I just put it in a booklet so they can quickly refer to it and they can kind of keep this with them at all times. Also in here I'll put like where we're staying, all of our like flight information, when we're gonna arrive and kind of the schedule that we're gonna be on so they can know kind of where we're at. So I will get this started and then I will assemble the Miss Me Kids. Dinner, not my, I'm going to do that. 
Pachita. Pachita. Did I spell that right? Mac and cheese. Yay, I did it! Chicken nuggets. Caesar. At C E A S A R. That's right, right? Mm -hmm. Wake up around 8, come down, 40 days, 14, yes, 10, 30, no, winning, um, relax, Richard in jacket. picture of our family and then I cut it into puzzle pieces and I put their puzzle pieces in these little baggies and they get to get out a puzzle piece every day until finally the last day they complete the puzzle and that's why you're coming home. So I'm going to cut this out and get them in their little separate bags. Okay, so I am cutting. Cutting seems to be going a little bit cleaner, but I'm not gonna be able to do all the like normal things, but then they're not gonna stick together very well, so I'm a little, I don't know, I haven't figured out. I got this. All right, guys, we are done with the puzzles. Yay, that was a lot harder than I thought it would be, but we are on day seven. Yeah, we're going backwards. So day seven, they're going to have like a luau pool party and I'm gonna give them all this fun stuff to make all of this fun treats. And so, let's get packaging.
sour and sweet. Now I have a spree with an icy I've already got them all packed, but I gotta zip them up, get them out there, and say goodbye to all the kids. All right, guys, Hi. Cass is here, Hi. Josh is here. I'm like, so excited. We're trying to find Dad. I don't know where he's at. He's doing all the last minute button up things. He's the helping house. the kids catch a lizard. That is what he's doing. <sighs> what? Yep. yep. Seriously? All right, we have got to get out of here. Guys, don't let those Miss Me kids like overwhelm you because like normally when I do them, they're like a normal like lunch bag every day and it's just more of a small thing. But I wanted to go all out and have a ton of fun so that you guys could join in <laughs> the fun. They're so, so cute. They're gonna be so excited. It's really gonna help like count down the days and I don't think they'll miss me at all. They'll probably be like, can you say 10 days so we can get a few more? <laughs> anyway, no. thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna see their reaction to opening up all the Miss Me kits and everything they do while we're gone, watch the next video and you'll see them there. Thanks guys. Bye. Yeah.